This is a Rainbow Workbook lesson for English First Additional Language, Grade R, Term 3, Lesson 3. In this lesson, the topic of focus is the jobs people do, and more specifically, people who help us. Sing along. Hello. Please stand up and let's sing a song. Your teacher will sing with you and show you the actions. Wonderful! That was lovely singing. Sing it again, please. Word play. Hello, children. Listen carefully to each word and choose the right sentence. The first word is fire. Should I say, firefighters put out fires? Or should I say, doctors put out fires? Yes, firefighters put out fires. Good, listen to another one. Should I say, the taxi driver works at the hospital? Or should I say, the doctor works at the hospital? Lovely. The doctor works at the hospital. Now listen to this. The teacher helps the doctor at the hospital. Is that right? It is not right. Can I say, the nurse helps the doctor at the hospital? You're right. 
I can say that. Say that with me now. The nurse helps the doctor at the hospital. Great. Can I say the taxi driver drives people to work? Very good. Say that with me now. Say the taxi driver drives people to work. Wonderful answers. Well done. Sentence play. Listen to the word and then the question. Doctors. How do they help us? You will say, Doctors help us when we are sick. Let's try that. I say, Doctors. How do they help us? You say, doctors help us when we are sick. Say that now, please. Good. Let's try another one. Road workers. How do they help us? You will say, road workers help us by fixing the roads. I will say, road workers, how do they help us? You say, road workers help us by fixing the roads. Say it now. Yes. Now listen to this one. Firefighters. How do they help us? Say, firefighters help us by putting out fires. Lovely. Now listen to the next one. Mechanics. How do they help us? Say, mechanics help us by fixing cars, trucks and other vehicles. Super! Now think of other people who help us and ask the question, how do they help us? Think about taxi drivers. Ask a friend, how do they help us? Yes, that's great. They help us with transport. That was excellent. Sound play. Are you ready to learn some new sounds? Of course you are. We are going to learn about the sounds s, t, and p. We hear these sounds at the beginning of many words. We can hear the s sound at the beginning of words like snail, socks, and snake. Let's see if you can hear the s sound in these words. Are you ready? Suck. Draw a suck. S. 
say suck. Now we will say suck slowly. S-a-k. What sound do you hear at the beginning of s-a-k? Let me say it again. S-a-k. Yes, we hear s at the beginning of suck. Well done! T is another letter that we hear at the beginning of many words. Say tap. Now we will say tap slowly. What sound do you hear at the beginning of t a p? Let me say it again. T a p. That's right. We hear t. Now say ten, ten, top. Great! What sound do you hear at the beginning of these words? Pear, paint, pawpaw. You've got it! We hear the p sound at the beginning of these words. You are listening very well to the beginning of each word. Well done! Playtime! Let's play a fun game called Silly Mistakes. Listen to my sentence and then find the mistake. Repeat the sentence back to me without the mistake. Be careful! Sometimes there is more than one mistake. Ready? Listen. The builder sprays the fire with the hose pipe. Say it to me correctly. Did you spot it? The fireman sprays the water, not the builder. The fireman sprays the fire with the hose pipe. Well done! Listen to the next one. The pilot puts salt in the soup and mixes it with the spoon. Did you fix it? Well done! The cook is making the soup and mixes it with the spoon. Next one. The cook caught the thief and put him in jail. Well done! The policeman caught the thief and put him in jail. Last one. The fireman gave the patient some medicine so he would feel better. Did you fix it? Well done. The nurse gave the patient some medicine so he would feel better. Good work, everyone. I am so proud of you.